Hey everybody, it's Tiara. Um, before I get into the video, bear with me. I just got teeth pulled unexpectedly. Today was the day that I had chose to do my install video, so I'm still gonna do my install video. So, just bear with me. That's the reason why my cheeks are all swollen and puffed up, and that's why I'm gonna be talking like this. So, yeah, but. So I got my install um, on December 21st. Today is January 5th. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Hope you all are much successful this year. I sound so fucking stupid. Um, okay, so yeah. I got my install on the 22nd. I have 20, 24, and 18. The reason why I said 21st is because she messed up and accidentally put the 20 on the bottom. But you can't really tell, that's why I didn't. I was gonna have my friend take the top 20 to four out and switch with a 20. But since you can't really tell, I just decided to leave it how it was. I wasn't going through the whole headache of that, so just left that how it was. I colored my ends ombre. I used um, a blue, it's called Quick Blue by L'Oreal Color Pack, and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal um, 30 Cream Developer just to lift the ends. I didn't color, like put a color on top of it. I just lifted the ends and just left it like that. I have co-washed this hair twice. Um, the day after I got it in, I co-washed it for some reason. Why? I don't know. I just did a quick wash that day. When I do my quick co-washes, I just put the hair to the side, wet it, co-wash it. Don't I don't get too much up here because I don't want my braids to get wet. So I just did a quick wash and then I put it on the other side and do the same thing. I used this. Organic Mandarin Olive Oil Conditioner. Um, I love the way that this smells and I also love the way that it leaves my hair. Here, you guys smell. Just kidding. But, um, hi. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Wave, say hi. Now say bye bye. Hi. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I love the way that this conditioner makes my this hair feel so This is not the natural so state of hair. I curled the, I did this curling with my Remington curling wand. You can, you can purchase that at Walmart, Walgreens, Sears, Banana Republic, hell, anywhere basically. Um, and I do use heat protectant when I curl my hair. When I was in California, I straightened my hair like maybe the second day I had it in, I'll put a picture. And um, I also curled it with my flat iron for Christmas. I also put a picture of that. When I was in California, this is the heat protectant that I used. Um, it's a Trust Me Heat Tamer Spray. But this is the one that I normally use. I love this hair because there's not shedding all over the floor. I don't have shedding on my bedroom floor. I don't have shedding in my bathroom. I don't have shedding in the kitchen. I don't have shedding anywhere because this hair does not shed. I did seal my wefts, the front and backs of each weft um, because that's twice. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to do the front and the back twice. So that's what I did with the um, Hair Extensions 101 weft sealer. I did that and I think that helped because I literally do not have any shedding. Like look, no shedding. There's nothing in my hand. There's nothing in, oh, there's a shedding. There's one, there's a strand. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's one Out strand. Of, a whole head of hair when I would have like a whole hairball from any other hair. Yeah, there's no shutting. It does not get that knot in the back right here. That beauty supply store gets the nape of the neck. I hate that shit. It does not get that at all. This hair is really pretty. Um, One thing I don't like, I oil my edges and in between my braids daily with um with um, Euphoria and Bliss, Bliss with Sulfur Oil. Excuse my daughter, I just bought her this new drum set thing. Well, actually it's like a little mini band and she's decided to come in the room where I'm recording to play with her band kit. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, I oil my edges twice a day because this is all I have left out. I don't know if you can see that. Like, I don't really have that much right here. There's barely anything. And then I have this much on both sides left out. Not that much hair at all because I'll get a sew in so my hair underneath can grow as well. So um, I oil all of this and in between here and right here each twice a day sometimes, um, but at least once a day. And there's piece, the pieces that are close 
so the edge they get really oily and um excuse me I don't like my hair my weaves oily I mean like my own natural hair oily so that's one thing that I do not like um other than that I like this hair it holds the curl really well I did these curls like right my hair probably like 1240 and it's now 413 and they still look the way they did when I left the house like I um curled them then I finger combed it out so I didn't want the complete uniform curl then I just finger combed it out and I got so many compliments at the dentist office they're like how'd you curl your hair your hair is so beautiful where do you get your hair done I was like I curled it myself they're like oh my gosh they were white <laughs> no offense to any white people out there but um they were like if I told you what state I lived in then you would completely understand but they're just like oh my gosh it's so pretty they're like what's a curling wand I'm like explaining to them I'm like yeah it's a stick and you just wrap your hair around it they're like oh, then what do you do at the end I'm like um you just hold it with your finger it's not that difficult um but yeah um but I usually do slick my edges down um but I didn't feel like doing it this morning so but when I do slick it down I use olive oil edge control if you've ever used olive oil edge control um if you've ever used this stuff you know that it has a tendency to get kind of white and gumpy I guess on your edges so what I do to combat that I take a regular toothbrush we're gonna pretend like this is my toothbrush take a toothbrush run it under the water this is the water run it under the water back and forth you take my toothbrush and I go dab 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 under the water one quick time then I just brush it on my edges and I do not get that white gumpy feeling that I do when I just use a regular brush or when I just when put it I on with my finger. When I flatter my hair completely straight, it gets has a tendency to get fuzzy, not fuzzy, but like a lot of flyaways up in this whole area, like it's from like here flyaways. What I do to combat that, the, for my little flyaways up here, um, what I do is, this is the Frizz Ease Hair Serum Extra Strength Formula. And what I do is I just take one, I take one little pump of this in my hand, rub my hands together, and then just go like this. It actually had flyaways today when I curled it with my curling wand, so I did that. And then I also, with the excess serum that I did have in my hands, I just rub it through my hair. Now, as far as my hair, when I, um, like this part, you can kind of see it's kind of flipped back. What I do for my hair, the heat protecting that I use on my hair, the bottle's all worn out. But this is the Thermofuse Heat, Heat, um... Heat Smart Serum Dry Oil Treatment. I got this for free in the um, Arjuni Growth. Oh, thanks, Janice. I love this hair. I'm actually gonna order some more before the quality goes down because a lot of people have been ordering it and I'm gonna order my mom and my mother-in-law, well, my boyfriend's mom, some hair. Um, also, well, my boyfriend's going to. I'm gonna order them some hair as well, so. After I first got it installed in its natural state, so you guys can see that. So far, I've only curled it with, war. I, I have not worn this hair in its natural straight at all. Well, just the first day that I got it done, the very next day I flat ironed it. I just did a really quick flat iron because I wanted to see what it looked like, and it came out beautiful. It does not take much to straighten first this hair. First time I hair. straightened my hair, I did not use this because I had just bought it. But the time that I straightened my hair since I've been back home, I use this and I love this. Love, love, love this. This is the um, Wigo Europe straightening brush. I got it from Ulta. It was it fifteen dollars, so I believe. Silky, so straight, so pretty. It's so nice. Um, so that's this. I love this brush. It's better to play safe than sorry when you're getting hair. Um, but I think that's all that I have for you guys right now. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below in the bottom, bottom bar. If you want me to do a tutorial on anything, leave it below in the bottom bar. I really do love this hair. I recommend this hair. I would give this hair, I give this hair like an eight. And that's only because one, it does still shed a little bit, little, little, little bit. And um, the other point would be for when I straighten it and how I curl it sometimes when it gets those little frizzies. So that's the only reason why this hair is not getting a 10. Oh, so, um, so I'll be happy, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Kisses and caffeine. Bye-bye.